So when this Prevo came in, we obviously spent a lot of time fixing things that have been done to it by other people. Most of it was the previous owner because they did the roof raise on it and they just changed things and the geometry, the suspension and things that we had to fix. But the big problems was he had just had it at a shop at the end of last year for like four months to have oil leaks fixed. And when he left there, it had worse oil leaks than when he took it in. You know, we found all kinds of problems, like the differential in it, they, they fixed the rear pinion seal, but they never added any oil to it. And it holds five gallons. We only drained about two gallons, two and a half gallons total out of a five gallon differential. So they fixed the pinion seal, but never checked the, the oil level in it. Uh, the oil pan gasket that they found leaking, they replaced it. And then we had to take it off because they had rolled the outside corner of it out and it was leaking worse than, uh, than it was before. So they had botched that job. And then his transmission was leaking from the dipstick tube on it. Um, and they said they couldn't find the parts to order a new oil pan for it. The only option was to replace the transmission with a new one. So he paid to have a new transmission put in just to fix an oil leak that was from the dipstick tube. Uh, and then this is the oil filter that was on the transmission after a new transmission went in. So they left the old filter on. They obviously used some kind of tools to remove it and then put it back on. So he paid for a new transmission, but they reused the old filter on it which that's like a major no-no, you don't do that. Um, and he hasn't had it at any other shop between now and then for somebody else to have monkeyed with it. Uh, there's just no way that, that anybody else did. This is what they put back on there on that new transmission. So they sold him a transmission just because it had a leak and then it was still leaking uh, fluid. Uh, we had to figure out what was going on. The dipsticks on it were not right. We had to figure out how much fluid went in it. And you'll see in this video as we go through and try and figure that out. But again, this is a huge shop, 27 bays. Uh, in Arizona, uh, and they should have done a much, much better job. Big, big money, big job. Uh, it, probably close to $20,000, and everything was worse uh, when he got it back. This was the transmission dipstick they had, and there it had two marks in it, which for an Allison automatic, it always looks like this, with a big hot, uh, hot run range and a cold and you know ad range. Uh, so we had to get the book to figure out what it was supposed to be, size of the pan, measuring it, laying it all out. We finally figured it out. Um, and then we got to get this thing back in the shop here and, and figure out the level of the fluid that's supposed to be in the pan and kind of go from there. All right, so we got this one getting ready to come back in the shop here today. Took it on another test drive after we replaced the transmission line that was leaking. That line is no longer leaking, but now there's other leaks on the transmission. So we're going to pull it in here and see what's going on. Hand flex when he did that. It's still, yeah. <laughs> wow. Is there any way to get in there? There's not a way no. to get in. Well, we could try one of your tight reaches with an impact if you wished. I don't know if that's going to help us though with how much this pan is flexing and yeah. the limit of torque on those. Yeah. You want a bigger bar? You want to grab that half inch breaker bar, Ted? Okay. And slowly. Well, yeah, how much is in there, it's going to take a <laughs> Yeah, well, it depends on how much pressure it's going to shoot it out at. Hey, it's doing that thing I said it was going to do, I think. You're losing it off yeah, the front. Oh, good news is the pan's further up on there. It's catching it still. I think. I guess we'll find out in a minute. See a huge puddle forming on the ground. Yeah, I got transmission fluid in my beard. You do. <laughs> How's the fluid look? Perfect. Red.
Did they refill this when they had the... What they put in it when they did the transmission? Oh, How much fluid? I did. No, what type? Transcend. It's still red. Transit doesn't usually stay red after a while. Oh, I yeah, see. It, puddle. it usually turns like clear. They specifically told you they put Transcend in it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I basically asked them to make sure. Okay. Hopefully that's way more than seven and a half gallons. We will soon find out. It's several inches deep in there. Well, the line on the dipstick that we assumed was the cold fill line was actually the hot fill line and the transmission was overfilled. Uh, there was too much fluid and it was kind of blowing it out of the vent at the top. So that's why it was leaking so much fluid. So now we're gonna, there, we know the measurements on the pan. We're gonna pull a bolt out of the side of the pan while it's running. Uh, that's exactly the right distance from the top for that should be the, the cold level for uh, while it's running. And once the fluid's gets to that level, then we'll know exactly what's at in there. Fill. I gotta tighten that back up still. I was not on the air dryer to purge my face though. Yeah, it purges on the other side, but um, let's check it now running with the dipstick and well, see. Let me, let me crawl back under there and tighten this up. Okay. Okay, we got the dipstick fiasco all sorted out there, and we fixed the squeaky belt. Test drive number three. <laughs> after a 50 mile plus test drive. There's only a couple tiny little flecks of oil on it. Just a couple of itty bitty ones there. And most of that's probably from what came off from what was there before. This thing was covered when it got here. He'd been trying so hard to get these oil leaks fixed and paid a lot of money and just, just required a little bit of time and some test drives to figure out where they were all coming from. But uh, we, got it, we got it hooked up gonna be heading out today. I know he's really, really happy with the way it handles. And then also not having the oil leaks all over his toad is gonna to be huge for him. Well, he made it back safely to Texas and happy to report that his toad was had no oil all over it for the first time ever. He's extremely happy about that. Um, just a lot of work went into this one and I'm happy this project is all done. Scott'll put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come 
to run. Bus, trees, mountain. We're gonna get that big job done.